Hey Scrapers, welcome to another video. If you recall about two weeks ago I took all of the circuit boards out of the plasma screens apart. There were a whole bunch of um, heat sinks and inductors and transformers and a few of you pointed out that I'd left these number two copper MOSFET on the board. And I will admit it was a little bit foolish of me to do so, um, but at the time my scrapyard I was just taking these as number two copper, but since viewing the comments, reading the comments from that video, I decided that I will come back and I will take all of these off because an idea came to me as I was reading the comments on how I could potentially extract all of the um, copper and leave all of this bakelite or bake this bakelite off. So this video essentially will be me going through these boards that I'd taken apart previously. I mean, there's quite a few of them all, as you can see and removing them all and putting them in the container and we'll see how much we've got at the end of the video i will um, potentially speed this video up so that it's not so you know time consuming hopefully i can get it down to say 10 15 minutes so let's get into it This one I'll put aside uh, as it's a full bridge rectifier. I'm sure they'll have um, diodes and whatnot, so we'll leave that aside and break into it at the end and see if it is actually like a standard MOSFET transistor.
Right, there's all of them done. Let's quickly break into one of these and see what we've got. So there's a bit of copper in there for you as well, if you can see all that. I'm not sure if you can. There's a nice orange piece of copper in there. Probably about maybe a mil thick at the most. And there is five of them here. Yeah, five and maybe six. To carry on with tradition, let's see how much weight there is in terms of these MOSFETs. 615 grams so it's quite a lot it'll be interesting to know. sorry that's quite a lot in terms of just a couple of MOSFETs to see how much once I um, take all that Bakelite plastic off to see how much there is actual copper content afterwards maybe a third of that you know maybe 200 grams if that Carrying on to my last part, Scrappers, as you saw, I stripped all of the MOSFETs off of the um, circuit boards. So what I've decided to do is try and heat them up in that steel can in my Devil Forge to see if, they, if the heat will um, burn off all of the Bakelite slash plastic that's on there. So what we have to do now, I set it all up, as you can see everything's in there, so what we have to do now is just fire it up and hope for the best. So let's try it. So what I'll try next is I'll sift it and we'll go from there, try and get all this fine ash slash plastic out of the way and see what's left, if it needs to be grinded a bit more or if I can just put it straight as it is into the cup open.
So I'll put that through another grinding session just to fine up that stuff a little bit more. As you can see there's still quite a bit of heavy stuff in there. That's just a piece of plastic. <coughs> but I'll fine up some of this. And as you can see here, still not quite smashed properly. Now as I was sifting it, I noticed that there was this little, it doesn't look copper, or it looks copperish, tingy stuff. But it kind of has like a little yellow tinge to it as well. So I'm not sure if this is going to be copper mixed with gold. Or if I'm just dreaming. But I suppose if I take it to get um, spectroscopied, that might be able to tell me. I do see some orange tinges in it. So it could be copper as well. But on this face here, as you can see, it looks yellow as well. But on the back end here, it looks copper. But I'll hold on to it. Welcome back everyone. So as you can see here is the finished product. So what started out as full intact MOSFETs is now number two copper. It will be number one copper eventually when I mount it all down with the rest of my wire that I'm slowly removing from all of the motors and transformers as you've seen in my videos. It also started out as intact. It was 615 grams. So what I'll do now quickly is we'll weigh it up and see how much Bakelite slash plastic waste there is actually in this. So here we go. So 404 grams. So to call it even, we'll run it up to 405. So we've lost 210 altogether. And that's quite a bit of um, weight in terms of that plastic. Quite dense plastic, obviously. Now, in terms of is it worth it? I would say so. Um, steel cans come come by them all the time. Pet food, human food. Um, and I used the lowest setting on the regulator. So it, between when I started it to when it was in that state where I could, you know, mash it all up with the hammer, it, it, 10 minutes at the most, absolute most. Um, as you saw, there were certain parts where I stopped to check it and there was just... I went by the fact that there was still black smoke pouring out of the top of the Devil Forge. So I just kept it on a little bit more and then yeah, 10 minutes rolled around and went through it all. And it was and it was absolutely brilliant. Efficient to no end. But in the future I think I'll invest in a mortar and pestle, I think it is. Um what people in the food industry, hospitality and stuff, use to make sauces and or pastes. Um, it's kind of like a marble slash um, granite type thing. I'm sure you guys have seen it. And um, I think that would work quite well actually. Using that um, motion there would actually fine that up a heck of a lot better. As I said, I'm not interested because I won't be doing it that often to buy a milling machine or you know a small crushing machine or anything like that. I mean, I probably could make one out of a hard piece of steel. Um, in the shape of a rolling pin. I mean, you could even use a rolling pin to be honest, but eventually I think it would it would start to snag because the face of the rolling pin would be quite soft. Um, and eventually these legs would get caught up in the wood and then you'd just wrap them up around there and it'd just become a nightmare. So all in all, I think it's a it was a good success to be honest. Um, I definitely recommend it for those of you who have a Devil Forge. So I hope that was a bit of fun for you all guys. Thank you all for joining me. Look after yourselves, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers.